Hi, I'm Gregory Paulini, and in this episode of Table Saw Techniques, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and sturdy drawer solely on the saw stop table saw. So stick around. Drawers are great for storing all of the accumulated things in your shop. And in this episode of Table Saw Techniques, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and sturdy drawer using tongue and dado joinery. This is pretty strong joinery for a drawer, and it helps to resist the normal stresses of opening and closing the drawer day in and day out, year after year. First, we'll need to calculate the size of the drawer. In this case, we want to leave a half inch on each side of our drawer for the slides. So just deduct that from the overall width. We're using half inch plywood here, but you could use solid wood too. Just be sure to rip enough strips to make the front, the back, and both sides of your drawer. Batch ripping ensures that all the components are the same width. Next, I'll switch over to a miter gauge to cross-cut the pieces. Start by squaring up one end of each drawer component, then mark that end with a square symbol. Now I'm going to cut my sides to length, and I've just set a stop block at 22 inches long. That's standard depth for a kitchen cabinet drawer. The stop block ensures both pieces are the same length. Again, Consistency is more important in order to achieve a good square drawer. Now it's time to cut the front and the back of the drawer to the proper width, but you'll need to calculate in order to get these to the correct measurement. Earlier, we measured the desired overall width of the drawer. Now, take that measurement and deduct the thickness of both sides. Don't assume that the two half inch thick sides are one inch thick. Plywood is usually undersized. I suggest ganging the sides together and measuring them as a set. Finally, add a half an inch to this measurement. Set a stop block to this calculated measurement and cross cut the front and back piece to length. Leave the miter gauge and stop block set up as is for now. We'll use it again in a second. The first part of our drawer joint is a simple tongue. It's kind of like a tenon but it fits into a dado later on. Begin by setting the saw blade to half the height of the plywood's thickness. This height isn't critical, so don't worry if you're off a bit. Now, grab the front piece and put it on the miter gauge, right against the stop block again, and get ready to cut a quarter inch long tongue. The easiest way to bump out exactly one quarter inch is to put a spacer in between the workpiece and the stop block. My quarter inch drill bit makes a very accurate spacer. Make a pass. Rotate the workpiece 180 degrees. And make another pass. Now remove the spacer and nibble away any remaining material to produce a tongue that's exactly one quarter inch long. Now just repeat the process on the back piece. The second half of the joinery required to hold our drawer together is a dado. A dado is simply a channel of wood removed across the grain of the piece. Use either the front or back to lay out the joinery for the dados in the sides. Set the blade to exactly one quarter inch high and position aside so the blade cuts into the dado you've drawn. Set a stop block to hold this position and make a pass on each end of both sides. Next, reposition the stop block to remove the rest of the waste until you have a snug fitting tongue and dado. Finally, dry fit your drawer. While it's together, measure the interior length and width so you can size the bottom in just a little bit. Also, Make a quick line on the inside bottom of the drawer 
to indicate where the groove for the drawer bottom will be located. Now let's cut that groove. A groove is just like a dado, except it runs with the grain of the wood. My blade is still set at a quarter inch height, which is just what I'm looking for. And now I'll set the rip fence to about three eighths of an inch. Rip each piece with the indicated mark towards the blade and the fence. Adjust the rip fence and make a second pass on each piece to create a groove that fits the plywood panel just right. To wrap up construction of the drawer, simply cut a plywood bottom panel to one half inch longer and wider than the interior measurements you took a minute ago. All that's left is to glue up the drawer, mount the slide, and put it into service. And with a drawer that's this simple to make with your saw stop, you can easily make as many as you need for your shop.